head trauma is not just major trauma of like going through a windshield or falling 10 feet onto a concrete floor. It can be small repetitive traumas like, you know, kids heading soccer balls just over and over. You do that a hundred times a week and these things can accumulate and it can be any number of things. And if we think back at the times in our lives where, you know, we fell on the ice and hit our head or, you know, we slipped and fell back and banged our head just as we hit the ground. These things have an effect. And if you check them and see that there was an impact, this can be helped. It can be changed. And marijuana is a toxin. And I'm shocked to see people passing laws and legalizing this. And of course, they don't understand the people that are our age that are passing these laws, the marijuana they were smoking 30, 40, 50 years ago because of agriculture advances, the marijuana of today is so much more potent than it was a generation ago, and particularly smoked by brains that are still forming until they're 25, 30, 35 years old, it is particularly problematic. So it is a toxin, and I hate that that's getting swept under the rug and ignored. Well, and you probably, on your show, you know, kids start smoking when they're teenagers and all of a sudden they're psychotic. It increases the risk of psychosis 450%. Now, true, that's probably for people who are genetically vulnerable, but you know, bathing the brain in toxins when it's trying to develop and it doesn't finish developing till 25, six, seven, um, we just have to do a better job. We have a high school course called Brain Thrive by 25 that's in all 50 states, seven countries, where we teach kids to love and care for their brains. And invariably, there's a whole lesson on what to avoid. The 14-year-old boy raises his hand and he goes, but how can you have any fun? And we play a game with them called Who Has More Fun? The kid with the good brain or the kid with the bad brain? Who has more independence because their parents trust them? Who gets into the college they want to get into? Who gets the girl and gets to keep the girl because he doesn't act like an idiot? Um, it's the person with a good brain. And we have to change our mindset that if I'm healthy, oh, that means I'm boring. It's like, no, you get to do cool things um, yeah. with a better brain. 